are still watching this and you're thinking, you know what, none of that resonates with me. It's just not sitting well in my heart. I'm just not feeling it. I don't feel like exhausting all my options. I don't feel like pivoting. My gut, my instinct is telling me that I'm done. Then quit. It's okay. You can quit. It's your life. It's, it's, you have the power to make those decisions for your life. Those, your feelings are valid. Like no one else knows you more than you. So if that's what your spirit is telling you to do, then go for it. But if something deep down is still gnawing at you or, or, or whispering, if there's a little voice in, in inside of you or your instinct or your gut is still telling you there's the quit, there's the give up, there's the stop. But then there's that little voice that's like, not yet. Don't give up. Keep going. You got this. Let's try something else. Okay, then let's reframe that whole process, right? So the word quit is very heavy. It's very controversial. It comes with a lot of the stigma behind quitting. It can be controversial and it's nothing to be ashamed of. I quit my job in 2018 to start my business and I have not looked back ever since. There are times when I wanted to quit real estate, as I mentioned earlier in this episode, and I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I exhausted all of my options. I'm glad I pivoted. And now I feel like I found a good place, even in times when I'm not making a lot of money or the times where I fall short of hitting my mark, I still feel that sense of like, everything's going to be okay. I have my moment. Don't get me wrong. I do have my panic spirals, but I get through them because I, like I said earlier, I have my tools in place to get me out of those, those mindsets, those, those failure mindsets, those, I want to quit moments. You know what I mean? And, but if you want to quit, that's okay. But if something in you is telling you not to quit, let's reframe what quitting means. Then let's work through that. Let's reframe what quitting means to you and your life. Maybe quitting is just a temporary pause. Maybe you'll say I'm pausing my career in real estate to pursue blank or I'm taking a break temporarily or you just straight up. This is this. It just didn't work out. Real estate is not for me. I'm going to try my hand and X, Y, and Z. Or if you ultimately are done, I'm pivoting out of real estate to sleep more, to spend more time with my kids, to travel the world and start a YouTube channel, to get a job at Amazon. I don't know. It's There's so many options and no decision is the wrong decision because, because it's your life. It's your choice. And whatever you choose to better yourself, to support your life and your family and your future, go you. Feel feel confident in that decision. Don't let anyone dictate your life. And this video, this episode is simply just told from my experience and what helped me through all of those highs and lows and what continues to help me through those highs and lows. But sometimes if you feel like quitting, just quit. <laughs> it's harsh, but it's true. And... When I quit, I, I kind of had a plan and I kind of didn't. And I'm, I, I went in like this. I wasn't all, all the way blind, but I, I still had like, this eye was covered, but this one was open and I was still a little fearful. But I found my way through and I'm still finding my way through. And I did what needed to be done. I understood the assignment. And if you don't want to quit right away, do what you can to build your reserves, to save money. Look at your budget. Maybe you need to cut back on some things before you decide to just quit because you feel like, oh, I need to pay the bills. Well, it's like, do you really need to pay all of those bills? Do we really need to keep the Spotify, the title, the Apple Music, all of that? I'm talking to myself. There was a point where I had, where I was subscribed to every music streaming platform because my inner child couldn't have all of the CDs that I wanted on 
when they dropped on every Tuesday. So when I got older, and I didn't realize this until I was looking at my budget, and, and I was like, why do I have all these subscriptions to the same music streaming platforms that the same music is available everywhere? So looking, be, being real with your budget, being real with your money, and facing it face head on, right? Cutting back and allowing yourself that, that ability to just breathe. And maybe it's not the job you want to quit. Maybe it's not the job that you need to quit. Maybe it's some of the things you're spending your money on that you need to quit. Have we thought about that, people? Have we thought about that angle? I know. I know. It's, it's a lot. It's overwhelming. But it's possible. I'm telling you. It, it, quitting is a heavy word. It, it may seem like the easier option. But let's think of other areas in our life that, you know, we can quit so let's quit some of those subscriptions or let's quit sitting around doing nothing for an hour and make some phone calls make some emails let's um quit using our old ways and start doing it the new way let's work on updating our templates let's work on updating our scripts let's up let's work on really focusing on the skills that you have right now and finding ways to monetize that. And give yourself a time limit. Give yourself 30 days, 60 days, 100 days, whatever it takes for you to feel comfortable whatever with whatever decision you're making. And then just build on that day by day. So for the next 30 days, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z because this is the result I would like to uh, uh, achieve by the end of those 30 days and if by the end of those 30 days i don't achieve said outcome then i'll quit or then i will pivot into something else whatever the case may be it's all going to be to your benefit nothing is ever truly a waste i'll tell you that much nothing is a waste you are not lazy you are not a quitter you know what I mean like everything is a lesson in life everything is going to take you to the next level as long as you choose to, to learn from those accomplishments and those losses. But if you invest the time in you, you'll, you'll be great. I, I truly, truly believe that. And, and sometimes when we focus too much on the money, it takes away from where we're truly supposed to be in life. And I know that's hard to accept sometimes when the bills are due. Believe me, I get it. And that's why... I'm giving you this content. That's why I'm giving you this breakdown because even in the darkest times, we have to find or have some sort of encouragement that lives in us to get us through. We have to just dig deep and find that and allow that to just guide us through the, these tough times. If you choose to quit, you choose to quit. If you choose to just give it another chance, give it another chance. 